Hi guys, Tech James here. So I haven't actually made a PSP video in quite a long time, so I thought I would make one. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get Doom 1 and Doom 2 running on your PSP. So I think I made a video about this maybe like two years ago or something like that, but there is a new version and um, that video is really outdated. So if you guys want to follow along, go and enable USB connection, so just press X on this. Go and connect your PSP or PSP Go to your PC, and then I will show you guys what to do next. So I will link Doom at PSP in the description of this video. And this is the latest version. You can actually find the version 2.0.1 down here. And there's two different like downloads we can get. Um, this is actually the shrunk version, or you can just download it from um, Wololo themselves. So this actually works on the official PSP firmware, so you don't even need custom firmware to get this thing working. But what we want to do is just click download um, from wololo.net, this link right here, and it's just going to begin downloading. So once we've got it, all we want to do is just go to our downloads folder and just find the file in here. And what we can do from here is just right click and select extract here. Now this does actually come with a Doom 1 WAD, so if you go into the WADS file, so the Doom 1 WAD, this is basically like the whole game. Um, if you didn't know with Doom, they actually come in WAD files. Now I've also got a Doom 2 WAD file. It's entirely up to you where you decide to get your WAD files from. If you want to get Doom 2, you can just search on the internet. And we're just going to drag and drop this into the Doom folder. And then we're just going to drag and drop this into the WADs folder. So it's pretty simple. All we have to do is just drag and drop this Doom folder onto the root of our PSP's game folder. So just put it in the game folder right here. Let's just drag and drop that in. I've already got one, I'm just gonna replace it. And that is literally it, just drag and drop the file. And now we can go back onto our PSP and I will show you guys what it's like. Okay guys, so once we are back, we can just close out this message and we don't actually have to run any custom firmware to get Doom working. So what we're gonna do is just close this and then we can go and find Doom on our memory stick. So let's just scroll over um, down to our memory stick and it should come up. Now I haven't actually got custom firmware running yet and I can actually just go ahead and open this up and it works perfectly fine. Obviously most people will have custom firmware installed anyway, but it's just kind of cool you can run it without it. So how this emulator works, what you have to do is select the WAD you want to play. So let's go for Doom 2 first. You press X once the WAD is selected and now you just press start and the WAD you selected should actually load up. So as you can see, Doom 2, that should be loading and we can just go on single player. And there you go, we've got Doom 2 running. So I will prove that the game actually works. Let's just go on a new game and just start on real quick. Of course, sound works as well if I turn that up. And there you go, Doom 2 running perfectly fine on your PSP. So obviously this works on all the PSPs and you don't even need custom firmware. So you can play this on the um, PSP Street, PSP Go, pretty much all of them. So let me show you the original Doom working as well. We can actually just quit the game um, right now. And now let's launch up the original Doom, which is Doom 1. So press X on it and then press Start and Doom 1 it should load up. Let's just go on single player. And here you go, we've got the original Doom running, which is actually a free game. I'm pretty sure this is like public domain now, so anyone can just download Doom and play it for free. But yeah, as you can see, Doom is now running as well. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.